give it a sweet shirt. Sail it. It's a sailor shirt. Brendan, do you sail? No. Okay. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> I knew I already knew the answer to that. Okay. Your next competitor, third competitor of the night, please welcome to the stage, Cliff Robles. <laughs> Well, my friends, Folklorama 2014 came to an end uh, a couple days ago, and I, I did manage to catch one pavilion. Unfortunately, it was the Filipino pavilion. <laughs> Whoopee! Yeah, there we go. My wife always says to me, honey, don't be so negative, okay? It's a perfect opportunity for you to understand your Filipino culture and your background. It's a Filipino experience. I'm like, honey, yesterday we had lunch with my parents, drove through the Maples, and went to McPhil Street Station Casino for karaoke. That's a Filipino experience, okay? <laughs> But don't get me wrong, it was a great pavilion. It was a great pavilion. I even brought our two-year-old daughter there, and this was the annoying part. They had a little Filipino woman going up to my daughter because she was so cute. She's only two years old, and they were just crouching. Well, they were little, so it's not much of a crouch. So they walk up to my daughter, and it's the most annoying sound. They're like, oh my god, you are so big! Look at you! Oh my god, you are big! Then they look at the father. Yeah, chubby 38-year-old Filipino guy. And I'm eating like four bowls of rice, so that didn't really help, too. And that's really weird. It's like listening to an unenthusiastic Filipino sex phone operator. It's like, oh my god, you're so big. You're very, very big. You're too fucking big, I tell you. Like, sir, you'd understand. Like, you make those phone calls, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you know what you do, man, yeah? Right, Handy Andy, huh? <laughs> Fucking masturbator. Um, uh, I was uh, on uh, YouTube a couple nights ago. I was looking through some old school cartoons, you know, Rocky and Bullwinkle and uh, Winnie the Pooh. Here's the thing that bothers me about Winnie the Pooh. Every every character on there has a has a certain problem on there. Like, think about this. Okay, Eeyore, chronic depression, suicidal tendencies, and a tail pinned to his ass. Piglet looks like a cocktail wiener on a tube top. Rabbit is anorexic and has OCD. Tigger, look at Tigger, he's like Prozac, Red Bull, and a Frappuccino from Starbucks. And what about, what about Winnie the Pooh? He walks around with no pants. No, I, I wish he existed in real life. I want to see him try to pick up a girl. Can you imagine him walking up to the bar? Hey now, baby, could I stick my fingers in your honey pox? Woman goes up to him, oh bother. <laughs> think about this, guys. Think about this. Look at the cereal mascots that you grew up with. Remember Sugar Bear? He was high, had eyes half open. Can I get a little for that sugar? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what about uh, Toucan Sam, major cocaine addict? What do you think he goes like? Follow my news. <laughs> There's, there's more. Wait till December. Remember Louis the Lightning Bug from Manitoba Hydro? He was an alcoholic, okay? Wait until he sings his Christmas jingle. Listen on December. He's gonna be like this. Watch out, little buddy. Can you see? You gotta play safe forever. Like Tristan, baby. <laughs> summer, I did some traveling, I was in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. I love the motto for Prince Edward Island. Prince Edward Island, the gentle island. Way better than that spirit energy shit we have here. <laughs> I wish they would have changed it. After going to Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, it'd be more like, Prince Edward Island, where the fuck are all the other Filipinos at? <laughs> no, I looked on Wikipedia, 0.0% Filipinos in Charlottetown. I bet you the first Filipino gets off the plane, like, oh, Charlottetown, this is nice. Hey, is there a karaoke bar? <laughs> no! Fuck this, I'm getting on the plane. <laughs> no, it, was, it was a good trip. Um, I was at Charlottetown Mall, and I bumped into these three people. It was a son, a mother, and a father. And I was being a proud Winnipegger, I was wearing my Jets jersey, and this really bugged me. Okay, the kid seemed like 10, 11 years old. I was walking, he saw my Jets jersey, and he's like, the Jets? I'm like, yeah, is there a problem with that? They're not a real team. So I looked at the kid, looked at his parents, yeah, well, those aren't your real parents. <laughs> Long story short, I'm never invited to that mall again. <laughs> Uh, but seriously, you know, take advantage of this nice weather. There's only a handful of days left in the summer. Enjoy yourself. Go traveling. Don't be cooped up inside watching television, okay? Even how much it begs. Look at TLC. They advertise, have a TLC summer by watching new episodes of Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. Okay, nobody watches that shit. 
Okay, most of the time it's closed caption. You can't understand what these assholes are talking about. And they're making grunts and weird noises. Hey, if I want an asshole to make a weird sound, I'll fart, okay? And here are those specials. Here comes Honey Boo Boo. Watch and sniff. No! Okay, I don't want to do that. And what about the mother? Like, people have a right to be ugly. The mother abuses the damn privilege, okay? Every time you see, look, every time you see her, like Jabba the Hutt trying to take a poop every single time, like, just like that. Filipino women are just looking at her like, oh my god, you're so big. You're very, very big. Anyway, that's my time. Thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Officially ruined the Manitoba Hydro Christmas commercial for me. So thank you for taking a piece of my childhood tonight. Um, I'm not sure that's pretty funny. Um, guys, we have one more.